Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at a few different techniques for reducing noise or the grain on an image. If I zoom in, you'll see there's quite a bit of grain on this image. So I've created three copies of the original. On this first one, we're going to go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. And you can see by increasing the strength, we can minimize this, but it's actually blurring quite a bit. So you can decide how much detail you want to preserve. I'm going to go on the extreme side this time, on the side of blurry. So we can always use masks. All right, so here's the after, here's the before, and we can add a mask and a soft brush up here and bring back some of the detail around the eyes and possibly the hair. Since those are defining sharp details. So that's one instance. It's not great, but it is better than before. Next, let's use a camera raw filter by going to filter, camera raw filter. And this time under basic, we are going to turn down the clarity and the texture. Again, I'm going on the extreme side, but we can also see already this softness. If we pull down the detail section, we can pull up noise reduction. Wow, that's really making a big effect. And color noise reduction is also helping. And we can add in a little bit of sharpening if you'd like. So that one's very smooth. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Wow, major difference there. Very soft, almost too soft. So what we're going to do is add a mask and our soft brush again. And we want the detail around the eyes. Wow, that's really... Fade back out some of that and turn down the opacity a bit for the skin areas. And let's get some of that hair detail back. So some of the whites of the eye has quite a bit of artifact. Or what we could do with the entire layer is bring down the opacity a bit more. We don't want it too overbrushed. Lastly, we're going to try the neural filter by going to filter, neural filters. And a couple of settings I want to try are JPEG artifacts removal 
depending on the resolution and size of your image, this may or may not take a while. And your processor power. You can choose this to be a new layer or a smart filter. I'm going to go with the smart filter so we can adjust it later if we needed to. Also going to turn on skin smoothing. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and click OK. And let's look at the before and after. Before and after. So we might want to use a combination of these techniques. Maybe with camera raw on top. We can get some of the detail back. You might want to bring more detail back into the eyebrows. So here is the before and the after, and we may want more of her dimple to show up. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.